Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you some project management stuff within Sublime Text 2. And this is really just how you can use uh, a project in your Sublime Text and manage all the files so they're nice and easy to find, and some nice keyboard shortcuts to help you do that. So, first thing I'm going to do is grab one of my sites that I've been uh, maybe not working on, uh, but I have worked on at some point. And this is a version of my site, and it's a Drupal site. And all the files that I'm going to be editing are really in my theme. So I'm going to go to my theme in particular. And inside of here, um, go down here, it has my CSS, it has my CoffeeScript, my SAS, my JavaScript, whatever. I'm going to grab this whole folder, and I'm going to drop it onto my Sublime Text icon. And it, you can see it didn't open up anything because I have this double pane view, and I have the uh, sidebar turned off, but if we go to view, show sidebar, or if your sidebar is already on, you'll see your folder structure here. So this is really nice because what you can do here is you can click and I can, well this is an image file, so uh, you can click and you can go through everything and uh, I can modify these pages without even opening them. You'll notice that this tab doesn't even show up. If I double click this file, it pops up here and it will remain up here. However, uh, if I wanted to, I could just do this, make a change, save it, and be done. Okay, so that's really cool. Uh, but what if you, let's say, you know you want to edit the global CSS file or the global SAS file, uh, and you don't want to have to go to open up this folder, click global SCSS. I mean that's not that much work, but it 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 could be a lot of it could be a lot of work, um, <laughs> depending on where you are in your file structure. But let's say you want to do that, you can hit Command T, and what this is going to do is show you your files that are in your project. And if you've used a lot of files recently, it's going to actually have the file you just opened last. So if you'll notice, we had gone into this config file, we went in this info file, this template file. Uh, these are the files we had open most recently, but we wanted the global.scss, so I can start typing global, and you can see within two letters we have global.css and global.scss, and then just some cached files. I'm going to click this one and just hit enter. Opens it up. Okay, uh, I'm done editing this. I want to go back to that node project page I was going on. Well, you could tab over by doing command 1 to tab back or this, or you could do command T again, hit down once, and you're already there. Enter, and you could just start typing away. You want to go back a couple of files ago? Let's say you close this file, and you close this file, and now you want to go back to one of them. Well, all you have to do is command T, global, there we go, and we're open. And it's so quick to change between files using this command. Uh, what it's going to do is it's only going to look at these pro the files that are within your project, so you don't have to worry about pulling in other files or anything like that. It's just a nice quick way of editing your files. Well, let's say you need to have a new template file, and you don't want to have to go create it, you know, create a new file or whatever. You can click on this folder right here, and we can say new file. We can just save this uh, test dot. Uh, tpl.php and there it goes puts it in right here you didn't I didn't have to tell it to even go in this folder simply by right clicking on this folder and clicking new file it knew to put it in that folder likewise if I need a new folder I can click on this and I can say new folder and test folder it's gonna pop up with this dialog right down here you can hit enter throws this test folder inside of here and it did that because I did right click on this and say new folder uh, if I would have right-clicked on our project, new folder, it would add it at the uh, root level here. So I'm going to click and delete this folder. It's going to ask me if I want to. Yes. Delete folder. And you can also delete files this way. We want to get rid of this one. Delete file. You can also reveal it in Finder if you'd like. Rename it. But it's gone. Great. So we can actually uh, save this project. And we can save this as a sublime project, untitled.sublime project. I'm just going to call this test.sublime project. Save. I'm going to close this out. Uh, no, I don't want to save this. Don't want to save this. I'm going to close this whole window down. What if I want to open a project? Project open. Uh, I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to find that project. It's the last thing I worked on. Here we go. Open project. Here it is. Back and back and ready to go. Uh, 
So this is how uh, Sublime Text 2 handles keeping your project files together. Um, it keeps everything organized so you can have a nice file structure to it. You can add files, remove files, whatever you want. So I hope this helps you manage your projects a bit more in Sublime Text 2. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter at LevelUpTuts. Thanks for watching.